Hello, I'm back to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul, and I'm here to discuss Portugal versus Republic of Ireland, the starting 11 show. I'm going to start off with Quivi and Kelleher in goals. I think this is a huge window for him to prove himself as a first team footballer. He obviously is looking to leave Liverpool for first team football. What better way than to put yourself out there by playing against one of the best teams in the world, Portugal, and hopefully having one of his best games that he's had um, for the country. He's been brilliant in goals for John O'Shea so far in any of the games that he's played in. I don't think he's been at fault for anything. He's been a calming presence uh, in front of or behind that defence. So I do think that having him there has been great. The fact that we can choose between two really top goalkeepers. i probably put in uh, Mark Travers as well in that. But the fact is Bazunu and, and, and Kelleher, when you take out one and you bring in another, you don't lose any quality, which I think is amazing uh, for an Irish team because we haven't said that in a long time. So Kelleher in goal for me. Going to go with a back three. This might surprise a couple of people with this one, but we're going to go Darrow Shea uh, in there on that left-hand side of our back three um, with Shane Duffy. And with big Jake O'Brien. I just think that's a mix of youth, experience and more experience. Just uh, to help maybe J Jake settle in if he's starting. Just settle, settle the nerves and so on. He doesn't seem to be faced by too much anyway, big Jake. But it'd be good to have someone like Duffy uh, alongside him there. You've got O'Shea who's comfortable on that kind of left centre back position there. And then in the wing back positions. Because you're probably already shouting on the screen going, where's Scales? I would put Liam Scales as the left wing back. In this scenario, we need legs. We need players that are going to be able to keep up with the Portuguese players, wingers uh, and so on. And I think Scales having coming off the back of a really good season with Celtic winning the double playing in the Champions League coming up against the uh, best players in Europe. I think that's been a great kind of way of him growing as a player. So I think having Liam there as a left wing back, he's played there numerous times. Uh, I don't think it would be too much to ask of him. I think he's well capable of doing that position. And maybe people would say, well, what about Ender Stevens and Robbie Brady? Or just Again, it's just down to legs, just in, in terms of like Robbie Brady is brilliant at keeping the ball and stuff like that. But I think we're going to spend a lot of the game defending. So I think we just need defenders in there. Seamus Coleman, right wing back, captain. Again, I spoke about Shane Duffy being leader uh, alongside there. Look, Shane Duffy might have had one of his poorer halves um, against Hungary the other night. But let's not forget how many times he's been there for Ireland and he's helped a lot of the young lads coming through at club level and international level. So I don't think that should be underestimated here. Uh, Seamus Coleman, again, leader. You don't, you look, I don't need to go into uh, all the things surrounding him and how much people talk about him as being such a great player. So for me, look, Seamus is Seamus and he has to be, has to be in there for me. Um as captain and again helping and uh, for players like Jake O'Brien and so on midfield Josh Cullen Will Smallbone and it's a toss up between Finn Azaz and Jason Knight I'm going to go with Finn Azaz um, thought he'd done quite well on his first start for the other night and uh, yeah he looks like a really good player I'd like to see a bit more from him now in the next couple of years and just kind of see can he main say uh, in that Irish midfield now and uh, John O'Shea seems to really like him having worked with him with the under 21s we know what Josh Cullen's going to bring as the um, pivot in midfield and then you've got Will Smallbone who I was really impressed with uh, getting his assist the other night and uh, he's really benefited from the longer season with Southampton I think he's carried that fitness then uh, into the games now and then you look at w w up front with Sammy Smoddox and Adam Ida, again, thought they were really good together. I think Ida being that focal point is quite good, but he, he does need to get bodies up around him. I think that's what he was saying after he scored the other night to Seamus Coleman. It's like, I'm getting the ball, but I need players kind of coming up and around me. I think Ida and Smolix getting used to playing to be, with each other will be good as well. And from then, um, you've got Troy Parr coming off the bench. He's probably unlucky to miss out on this uh scenario but I do think that uh, having him to come off the bench having Tom Cannon Michael Obafemi um, all of these players Jason Knight and all to come off the bench but I do think that's the best team to go with it's not too attacking but it's also uh, there's a threat of scoring goals but it'll probably be more of a 5-3-2 than a 3-5-2 um, so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments on this team don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe and give it a share as well if you like uh, and uh, yeah comment below the team that you would like to see face Portugal and if we get some sort of result, is John O'Shea the man to lead us going forward? I'd like to know your thoughts. Let me know. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching.